Since their emergence in the late 90s, LEGO has produced a whopping total of 25 different molded dino species. However, there's still plenty more that we still need from LEGO in order to satisfy true fans of the Jurassic Park and World franchises. Today on Brick of 5, we will be taking a look at every dino we still need from the movies and my thoughts on the likelihood of them being created. Up first, we have the Spinosaurus. This is my personal number one dino that I want to see from LEGO next, and based on your comments, it's a top pick for my audience as well. The Spino is mostly a cult classic for big fans of the Jurassic Park franchise, as its movie is widely seen as the weakest of the original trilogy. While I personally love the movie, its associated popularity has influenced the amount of associated products that companies are willing to develop. However, LEGO did take this risk in 2001 with two JP3 sets under the studio's theme. While the Spino was released in set 1371, we sadly haven't seen it since. I suspect that a new mold similar to the one shown in this video will be coming very soon. Up next, we have the Stegosaurus. This is a fan favorite dino, and it's really sad that LEGO hasn't given it much love since its original mold found in the 2000s Adventurer series. First appearing in 1997's The Lost World, the Stego shows up quite regularly in a lot of Jurassic content. And it was even included in the 2015 LEGO Jurassic World video game with a refreshed design and therefore the design is pretty much ready to go. The next big anniversary for The Lost World is its 30th in the year 2027, but I think it's very likely that we will see this dino before that date. Next up, we have the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. Since the JW movies have come to an end, and LEGO has shown their willingness to go back and honor the older movies, why not go back and honor the original Jurassic World with its 10th anniversary coming in 2025? An updated Moses Source mold is something that a lot of my viewers asked for in my previous video outlining every LEGO dino, and I personally believe we will see this dino figure on store shelves by 2025, or sooner. Now with the remainder of the video, I'm going to start lumping the different species of dinos based on their movie appearances. Starting out with Jurassic Park, we actually don't have any dinos remaining that weren't shown in the flesh during the theatrical cuts of the movie. However, a number of species like Deinonychus and Alamosaurus showed up as fossils. Other species showed up as murals and toys, but since they weren't actually alive in the movie, I don't expect LEGO to ever recreate any of those dinos in dedicated molds. Moving on to 1997's The Lost World, there are a few dinos that LEGO still haven't brought to store shelves. Of course we have the Stegosaurus that was mentioned earlier, but another big one, at least for its screen time, is the Procomp Sognathus. While I believe that we would all like a few LEGO copies, I think these are towards the bottom of LEGO's radar. In recent years, LEGO has released a few new molds like the Baby Velociraptor mold, which with enough imagination could satisfy some fans in the meantime. However, while I think the LEGO molded compi has potential for a 2027 anniversary wave, I wouldn't bet my bottom dollar that we will see it anytime sooner. Wrapping up the Lost World, we have three heavy hitting herbivores. The Parasaurolophus, Pachycephalosaurus, and Mamenchisaurus. All three of these were showcased in the field stampede scene where InGen was trying to capture all the poor little dinos. But taking a closer look, I think that a Parasaurolophus and a Pachycephalosaurus are definite shoe-ins to be molded in LEGO form. They are big standouts in the as mentioned scene and very popular herbivores for a lot of dino lovers. Unfortunately, I don't think the same can be said for the Mamenchisaurus. While this dino undoubtedly has its fans, just the fact that it took LEGO 30 years to develop a new mold for the iconic Brachiosaurus, I think the Mamenchisaurus will suffer a similar fate, or perhaps worse. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. Moving on to somewhat of a cult classic, Jurassic Park 3 has a lot of heavy hitters that fans have been clamoring for. For years, number one for most people is the iconic Spinosaurus from earlier, but another carnivore that fans have been requesting is the Ceratosaurus. While this dino only appeared in one scene, and a very interesting one at that, I think there's a good chance that we will see a Ceratosaurus in the future because LEGO has definitely shown us that they aren't afraid to include big piles of poop in their sets. JP3 also provided us with the first time appearance of a Corythosaurus in the flesh, which also received limited screen time in the movie. This dino was somewhat similar in size and overall shape to a Parasaurolophus, and while I know Jurassic Park fans would love to see this in LEGO form, I think it's much less likely than the more recognizable Parasaurolophus. 
Lastly, while the JP3 Velociraptor is in a different species, a JP3 style Velociraptor with special markings and head feathers would be a nice addition for a JP3 anniversary set. Before I move on, my analytics show me that over 56,000% of you all are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the video and to prove you're not a dino hater, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more LEGO content. Moving on to 2015's Jurassic World, there's not as many missing dinos than one would think. Again, we have the fan favorite Mosasaurus from earlier, but the Apatosaurus and the Dimorphodon are the only two remaining dinos that appeared in the flesh in the movie and haven't yet been molded in LEGO form. Starting out with the Dimorphodon, I am actually questioning myself why LEGO hasn't released one of these already. Overall, it would be pretty small and somewhat simple to design, and I think it would sell well because they played a big part in creating absolute chaos towards the end of the movie. More on, LEGO releases a lot of sets with Pteranodons, and so I think that a Dimorphodon mold is right up their alley for a 10-year anniversary wave in 2025. However, I have some bad news for the Apatosaurus. I personally believe that the Apatosaurus will likely share the same sad fate as the Mementosaurus and never potentially get released. Or at best, it may get a chance to be added to the lineup later in a 15 year anniversary in say 2023. Moving on to 2018's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, again we have less dinos remaining than one would think. While a bit smaller and slenderer than some of our other bigger carnivores, the Allosaurus has a small cult falling of its own. This dino could likely be made from the body and tail of the existing Baryonyx mold, thus leaving a new head mold as the only thing holding Lego back. Additionally, since the Allosaurus reappeared in Jurassic World Dominion, it received its own dedicated short film, The Battle of Big Rock, and just the dino's general popularity outside the Jurassic movies, I think we will see this dino realized in Lego form within the next five years. Shockingly, with a big cast of dinos, there are only three other dinos left from this movie. Yes, there are holograms, murals, skeletons, and embryos of other species like Deinonychus and Herrerasaurus, but the only three remaining dinos seen in the movie, two of which are included as a technicality, as both the Peloriplites and the Teratophoninus were only seen as carcasses. And because of this, I think it's safe to say that we will not be seeing any of these in a Lego store near you. But the last dino is the Cynoceratops, which can be seen licking Owen after he was tranquilized. The Cynoceratops received its fair bit of mention in my previous dino video, and I think for good reason. We all love the classic Triceratops, but I think a lot of fans want more Ceratopsian variety in LEGO. This one is a little difficult for me to place a date on because while I think there's demand for it, I think it's more difficult of a mold for LEGO to replicate because of the two holes in its frill. With that slight obstacle pointed out, I do still think we can expect to see this dino from LEGO by the movie's 10th or 15th year anniversary. 2022's Jurassic World Dominion is the last of the mainline movies and because of some extended scenes in the prehistoric prologue, it has a total of 8 dinos to date that we still need from LEGO. Of these 8, I think the Nasutoceratops is a no-brainer for fans, but may be a little too similar to the Triceratops for LEGO executives. In fact, set 76950 actually contains a Triceratops, but in a Nasutoceratops color scheme. This shows that LEGO didn't believe a unique mold was justified. Fans have shared their disdain for this choice in my comments, and that LEGO would just have to make a new head mold. I don't think we will see this until the movie's 10th year anniversary in the year 2032, or potentially never at all. Next we have the Dreadnoughtus, which I would love to see in LEGO form, but I think it's a very unlikely because of my points mentioned earlier, and it would have to be a pretty substantial mold, likely the biggest we've ever seen from the theme. I think the earliest we will see this is 2032, or potentially never. Next we have the Dimetrodon, Aviraptor, and Iguanodon. Of these three, I personally would love to see the Dimetrodon come to LEGO, and I think the only way we will see one of these if they figure out how to do the back fin mold and release a Spinosaurus mold first. And while I would love to see a Dimetrodon, I would be livid if this came out before a Spinosaurus. Regardless, I think we could see a Dimetrodon within the next 10 years by the year 2033. Next we have the Iguanodon, and while I think we could use a few more herbivores from LEGO, I think the Iguanodon is just more nondescript than some of the others we need, so I see this one potentially never making the LEGO lineup. Now for the Avi Raptor, I do think we will see one of these from LEGO within like the next 10 years. While it didn't get much screen time in the movie, overall I think it's just a popular dino design outside of the movies, and LEGO has shown us that they can do feathers somewhat reasonably well with the Pyroraptor. 
The last three dinos from the movie include the Lystrosaurus, Microceratus, and the Moros Intrepidus. I think the Moros falls into the similar category like the Compies from earlier, as I think it's just too similar looking to the already present baby Velociraptor molds, and therefore I don't think we will ever see a specific mold for one of these from LEGO. However, I would like to think that we might see a Lystrosaurus and a Microceratus from LEGO, maybe within the next 10 years, since we have seen that LEGO is willing to make smaller baby sized molds from time to time. Well there we have it folks, all the dinos we still need from LEGO, at least from the mainline movies, but not to fear my Camp Cretaceous lovers, I got you covered. Now personally, I haven't seen Camp Cretaceous, so my knowledge of screen time for these dinos and their overall popularity of the show is not the greatest. However, based on my research, we have a total of about 8 dinos that I think we could see from LEGO in the future. These include the Scorpius Rex, Kentrosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Smaldon, which isn't really a dino, the Monolophosaurus, that was hard to say, Nothosaurus, Oranosaurus, and the very cute Sinospino. I hope I pronounced just half of those correctly. Of these dinos, I think the Scorpius Rex is the only one that is guaranteed a spot on LEGO shelves within the next 5 years. And while I would love to see a Kentrosaurus from LEGO since they still haven't released a Stegosaurus at the time of making this video, I find it difficult to think that we would see this species anytime soon. The rest of the dinos on this list aren't as mainstream as the species in the movies, which makes them really unlikely candidates. However, I do think we could see a Sino Spino from LEGO because it's just so adorable. Or at least I want one for my own collection. And there we have it folks. This concludes all the dino species that we still need from LEGO based on the Jurassic Park films and TV shows. Note that I know there's other things than just species that we would probably want from LEGO like a Doe T-Rex from The Lost World and other named dinos like Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. If you would like to see another video on this topic then please leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. And if you're looking for something else to watch I recommend checking out my evolution of LEGO dinosaurs on the end screen now.